Hi again. Uh, thanks for your company once again. Um, I mentioned yesterday that, that Paul uh, refers to himself as a servant, literally a slave in Ephesians chapter 3. And he, he unpacks that a little in the next couple of verses we're going to look at today. Ephesians 3 and verse 8, let me read. Although I am less than the least of all the Lord's people, this grace was given me to preach to the Gentiles the boundless riches of Christ and to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery, which for ages past was kept hidden in God, who created all things. So he, he, he is literally sort of subjugating himself, bringing himself down to the lowest possible uh, tier of society. I am less than the least, he says. Now Paul, uh, um, a few years before he, he wrote this, Paul was, was the most arrogant uh, and ambitious and highly... Um, considered uh, um, member of society, he he was he was highly regarded by society and, and thought of as somebody who was kind of high up in the religious elite. But now he recognizes that in comparison to the riches of Christ, in comparison to the gift of God, in comparison to everything that God has blessed us with and given us, he is lower than the least, less than the least of others. That he has is no more deserving in it, and in fact less deserving of all that God has done for him in Christ than anybody else at all. Now theologically that's not quite correct because uh, every single one of us is equal in God's sight but this is what Paul is trying to get to emphasize his point that even though he knows he doesn't he's done nothing in his own uh, strength or by his own right or within his own power to generate or to deserve um, such grace, such a gift of grace. He's emphasizing that Christ has done it all, that uh, it is, e even though he was the lowest, that this grace was given to him, the boundless riches of Christ. Often I come across people who will say, oh, I couldn't possibly be loved by God. I, I'm too bad. I've done too much, too many evil things. God, God wouldn't ever accept me. Rubbish. It's absolute rubbish. The boundless, literally without limit, gift, a uh, grace of God is offered to every single one of us. So if you feel unworthy today, if you feel that you couldn't possibly be included in this list of everyone who uh, is um, able to receive God's gift, please think again, because God loves you, even though you may feel less than the least of everybody else. God loves you and God wants you to know his love and his passion for you. Let's pray. Uh, Father, thank you for uh, that that which was for ages past kept hidden is now revealed to us and thank you that we can just embrace that, we can grab hold of the promise that you've given us and rejoice. Amen. God bless. Take care. See you soon.